in the last video we looked at how to sort data using custom sorts. For that we used the home tab, editing, sort and filter and then we drop down to custom sorts. And from there we could build up a series of sort levels. For example we could sort by country and then add in a new level and sort by sales within that country section. And there you can see it's sorted by country but within that we've also sorted into ascending order the sales. So that was in the last video and we're just going to take things a little step further forward. You're probably already aware of the fill handle that we can use to build up information. For example if you put a number one in a box and then use the fill handle we can drag that down to put all ones. Or we could put a, a little series of numbers in, for example, 1 and 2, select them both together, use the fill handle to continue that sequence. There is another video on this, so if you're not sure what I'm doing here, go back and have a look at the basic uh, spreadsheets videos. What you can also do is fill by days of the week, for example. So if you've got Monday in there, you can use the fill handle to go down to Friday. And also months of the year. So that was January, and again we can fill down. You should already be aware of that. If you're not, go back and have a look at the earlier videos. Um, what these do is utilize something called custom lists. And we can use these custom lists in our data sorts. For example, here is our data. Let's just get rid of this. Here's our data table, and that's not years anymore, that's months. We've converted this to months. So we've got January, February, March, April, May, etc. So we've got the months of the year coming down here. Um, they're not quite in order. Look, we've got April, May, July, June. They're not quite there. Um, that's just the order that's coming from these other sorts. If I sort on months, just using the normal method, A to Z, it puts all the Aprils together, then all the Augusts together, all the Decembers together. So that's not quite what we want to be able to do. We can use the custom sort to help us with this. So again we're looking at the editing section, sort and filter. This time we're going to come down to custom sort, like we did when we were building up these column, these rows. But this time I'm going to sort by months and values, but I don't want to do A to Z, which is the default. I want to sort by the custom list. So I'll select custom list, and they're the inbuilt custom lists that Excel has in um, available for you. So let's select January, February, March. Click on OK and OK. And it's now sorted into month order. January, February, March, April, etc. So that was just simply using the same sorting method. Custom sort. Only choosing on the order section a custom list. And that allows you to choose the custom lists that are inbuilt into the system. We selected January, February, March, click on OK, and it sorts into that order. What you can do is create your own custom lists. And we can do this from two different places. The first is if we select the um, Office button, drop down to the Excel options from the popular section top options for working with Excel we can do the edit custom lists and that brings up the custom list dialog box where we can select new list and then type in the list in this box here on the right hand side so for example, let's put um, high, enter key, medium, enter key, low. Three things that would not work in ascending alphabetical order. Once we've typed those in, we can click the Add button. And it adds that list into its custom list. Now what happens is that is put into the computer registry. So it's available for anybody using Excel on this computer. You have to be aware of that. 
it doesn't necessarily travel from computer to computer. If you use this list in one of your sorts, then anybody using this worksheet on another computer will have, have access to that sorting list. But it won't be available as a custom list. They'll be able to use, sort by it, but it won't be available. So it, it, it's got its limitations. If you want to read more about that, um, just bring up the Excel help, type in custom lists, and it tells you all about it here. And there's a section down there for how custom lists are sorted. So have a good read of that if you wanted to be able to use this feature for other people. So there's my custom list, high, medium and low. I then select OK and OK. Now I can use that in my spreadsheet. So I can put in high, use the fill handle and you can see fills in that data, medium, low, high, medium, low. The custom list is then actually available as part of your sort as well. So if we do sort and filter, custom sort, and then in this order section at the end, choose custom lists again. We'll now see that that high, medium, low is available to sort by. And of course, this is now the second way of creating your own custom list because you can select new list from there. You should be aware that the existing list that Excel give you, you cannot edit. But your own, you can. You can delete them. Quite often, you might have already typed in your data. Well, if you have, you can convert that into a custom list. Again, if we go through the Start, the Office button, down to Excel Options, Popular, Top Options, Edit Custom Lists, then we can import from that cell range. And click on Import, and it will add that in to your custom lists. So that's now available for you to use uh, with the Fill button. So if I put in Jaguar and drag that down, and there's all my cars. And it's available when we come to do a sort. There's the custom list again. So that's custom lists and how they can be used to sort data.